You're standing in front of your machine Monday and <coughs> Yeah, turret shuttle fault, turret clamp fault, turret unclamp fault. Yeah, it ain't gonna run today, sorry. It ain't gonna run that week, probably. We gotta order parts, we gotta get a service tech in here, we gotta get an A-frame hoist. It's gonna be all week ordeal, it's gonna be in the thousands. Or you could buy our repair kit and watch our video. I'm the CNC repairman. I'm gonna show you how the Niagara Falls is full of Okay, let's dive into it. This is an ST turret piston. This is also an ST turret piston torn apart. What does it do? When you press turret unclamp or ATC forward, the turret goes psh, unclamps, rotates, psh, and clamps. Clamps inside of a curvet coupling, very tight. This is air driven. On ST40 machines, they're hydraulically driven. Why are they so dirty? Because garbage in your air system, coolant, gunk, whatever, whatever, bad quick exhaust valves, Stuff quits working. I mean, this is on machines that run three shifts a day. I think this is what this one came out of. This one was a 12 year old machine and it ran hard. You can just replace the whole piston or you can rebuild it with a rebuild kit. Before I do this, I probably replace the valve and the quick exhaust valve. The air comes in here or comes in either in the casting here. That's how that works. Let's tear into what each piece does and I'm gonna put on some gloves. So why would your turret give a turret clamp or unclamp fault? Probably because you got bits like this or bits that, oh my goodness, bits like that. There was another broken piece of spring around here. Bits like that. So this turret can't clamp and unclamp correctly if the springs that are supposed to look like that look like that. And then every time the turret indexes around, the center shaft spins, we have issues. So how does it work? This gear sits on the back of here. Now this is a revision early turret design. This is a later revision design so the gear doesn't perfectly match, but the piston rebuild kit is the same. So gears here, there's another gear in the back of the turret box, another gear and the servo motor for the A axis. Air pressure comes in here, it separates the turret unclamps these big bolts here bolt through your turret, that locks in the turret, the motor runs, indexes to either a half position or a full position, the air pressure clamps, this whole thing clamps the turret back onto the curvet coupling behind it. So this is the whole turret shaft. Between this piece and this piece is two air cylinders and the springs that help it unclamp. So air pressure is either applied here and here to separate to push it forward or here and here to push it back. Maybe I got those backwards. The springs, the pin, this is a pretty tight fit inside of here. I got it backwards. That was good. Like this. So the springs break, which then tumble around in here. The seals give out. This was literally how dirty it was when I tore it apart. Then this shaft goes through it. There's not a whole lot to rebuilding these. I have replaced the bearings. You have to pull this bearing off. The thing doesn't spin fast, they're sealed bearings. I don't think it's necessary to replace the bearings unless they feel like trash. So this gear goes to that one. Let's take this one apart like it was real life. There's a snap ring that holds this on. You're gonna need some tools. Then you're gonna need a big puller. This can unscrew. This is also the flag for the home switch and the clamp on clamp switch. I think this one would unscrew, but I didn't unscrew it. So snap ring off, pull the bearing off. If you've got a nice wrench or you can just tap that. That'll come off. I'm gonna try to keep these separate. Put this over here. Okay, if you're doing this for the first time, it's not gonna come apart this easy. I've already had this one apart. Okay, there's a spacer that comes off. Now this is gonna come up and it's gonna come off. Now, we're missing a quad ring, that's why it came off so nice, here and here. We're also missing an O-ring inside here and here, and there's this little spiral washer. So, when you're taking things apart, I'd say leave the O-rings on so you get everything clean, clean, clean. Then you can put the O-rings on, you can put grease on everything. So here are our springs. 
These are all in decent condition. Then this will come off. Oops. Yummy, yummy. And there's a spacer down here that won't come off unless you pull these. I have pulled these. I don't think it's necessary. So at this point, clean everything. Uh, acetone, any type of kerosene would be fine. You want to clean all the crud off of it. Then we're going to put a new quad ring inside of here. These are just kind of groove rings that you're going to put grease in. So you want to grease everything down, grease the bearings, but don't over grease. I mean, we're not packing it. We don't want it to hydro lock and become hydraulic in here. Uh, an O-ring goes here, quad ring, quad ring, quad ring, O-ring, and then there's an O-ring that comes in the kit which seals the turret. So, let's take these off and we'll look. And then, leave one more O-ring, sits around that guy right there. So we've got three big quad rings, a bigger O-ring, a smaller O-ring, another one. I'd tear the kit apart, but it's all dirty and gross. I think if you're taking yours apart, you could see it. This is more just a, hey, I've got it apart. I don't want you to be afraid to try to take it apart, but you should be. <laughs> taking the turret apart is sketch. Disconnect the air. Once you unbolt this piston, and if you apply air, man, that piston, this whole thing will come flying out of the whole turret casting. And so I'd put some threaded rods on it and be careful and pull it out. Don't try to pull the turret. This is my recommendation. Unless you have an overhead crane or an A-frame hoist, it's just so much easier. Dealing with a cherry picker is a pain. Dealing with a forklift is a pain. It's just safer. That's the way we do service. We, we don't pull turrets unless we have a proper, safe, and it's faster way to take the turret off and put the turret back on, especially if you've got like a 24 station BOT hybrid. I mean, those turrets are big. They're big. So if you need a kit, check out our website. Our prices for our rebuild kits, two to 300% cheaper than a new part. We have belts, we have consumables, we have filters, we do electronics. We're here to help. Give us a call, shoot us an email, and we do overnight shipping daily. So we're here to help. Thanks for watching this video. Please keep watching our videos, and I hope we don't bore you too much. If you enjoyed it or you have a recommendation, if I missed something, please comment below, and I'll try to get back to you, or I won't. One of the two. Talk to you later.